People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly peoplablogspotcom and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at peoplablogspotcom And as of today, according to my doctor, my platelets are presenting as normal. So, of course, first thing I said was, that means I can stop taking this chemo med, right? He goes, no. <laughs> and I said, but I feel so blah when I'm on this stuff. And I feel dizzy all the time. And, I mean, it's a controlled dizzy. I can function. I can drive my car. But it's still kind of a feeling. So, he made a deal with me. For the next three months, when he sees me again, I'm allowed to take one hydrea every other day and which is a nice change because i was on two one day one the next two one day one the next and that overwhelmed my system i was always feeling kind of so i went from there to one a day and i didn't get authorization to do the one a day until i told him i said i'm not gonna do the two so you might as well go ahead and put me down for the one and he said, okay, and he was agreeable, reluctantly. But my bet paid off because I'm presenting as 300 platelets. That's normal. That's a therapeutic normal, which means I still have to take the medicine, but I don't have to take it the way I was taking it, which means, and the, uh, got a neck strain from falling from one of the dizzy spells, into a closet, and I couldn't get out of there for the longest. I literally had to, you know, well, technically I didn't fall into the closet. I fell over a chair that was in front of the closet and landed in the closet and stuck my hand with a coat hanger that bled forever, it seems like. And mom couldn't help me out of there, and basically I ended up you know, like curling into a ball and trying to maneuver my way back to a standing position and got my hair caught in a coat hanger. So, of course, I just took the braids down, no problem. And, of course, my doctor said, well, that's an interesting look for you. I said, what? He goes, what do you call that hairstyle? I'm thinking, hairstyle? (laughs) I said, I call it, hello, I'm here. (laughs) He goes, yeah, that fits is really growing, but it just occurred to me, he's never seen me without a braid or a bun or a ponytail or my hair being up in some kind of fashion. In the meantime, it occurred to me that when I did the video, mom's okay, by the way, but when I did the video about the um, BP cuff, Because of certain issues, the video pixelated. So I'm going to show it to you again. And let's hope it doesn't pixelate this time. Yeah. And that also means I have to move slower. So that way I don't confuse the camera, which is part of the issue the camera was having. And now it also has her name on there. So here's what it looks like now. Is that gorgeous or what? Now, I have no idea what the rules are for accepting gifts, so she may just not accept it, at which point in time I'll turn her name into some flowers and have it as a personal thing that she can use when she takes my blood pressure here. But hopefully, she'll be able to accept this gift. But the colors are actually brighter now. Is that cool or what? And the glitter is showing up more. And it's not showing up at all on this side, which was my concern because those are where the sensors are. And at the time that I did that, it was actually wet. So I'm thinking that's why it was showing up on the back side. And it's a little crunchy, but after she uses it a few times, 
that will loosen up nicely. But tell me what you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've never decorated a, a BP cuff before. It was just kind of an inspired thing at the moment. So hopefully others will think it's a good idea. And if so, I'm willing to make them one. With their name and their favorite colors or whatever. Those are colors that I have seen on almost every set of scrubs she wears. I mean, I look up one day she's wearing yellow. Some days she's wearing green. A lot of times she's wearing pink or purple. I was like, that's the same color scheme I use for a lot of stuff. And, oh, and there's a deep pink in there. And I had some deep pink paint, so I just went on here and threw it on there. Twisted it around. So that way I had an ombre effect and did what I do. And I was hoping it didn't look like mud. <laughs> because the way I did that, there was literally one shot at it. So if I didn't get it right the first time, it was just going to be ugly. So <laughs> fortunately, it's not ugly. Uh, well, no, that's not exactly accurate. It would have looked gray. And since it's already gray, then it would look like gray with a couple of splashes of colors and some glitter. But at least the colors are vibrant enough to be seen. And yeah, I'm happy with it. Anyway, this has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. Bye!